One hour of Family Guy's darkest humor. Yeah, I definitely won't regret this because Family Guy aged great. It's not like there are any clips of really horrible Family Guy scenes from, you know, freaking 2002 that are gonna get me absolutely annihilated, as blasted, and as stretched out over the coals on Twitter for this one. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these hour-long, terribly dark, travesty humor of Family Guy. Leave a like, subscribe, pray for me that I survive this. And as a little disclaimer before I get myself cancelled, I would like to take this moment to shout out women. With that disclaimer out of the way, I am safe, and let's jump right into it. A lot of you asked me to watch Family Guy funny dark humor moment, and uh, I didn't want to. But then I kept getting requests. Every time I would react to South Park, I'd have someone say, but what about dark humor from Family Guy? So I decided, you know what, what the hell, I'll humor you guys. Family Guy Funniest Dark Humor Compilation, try to cancel me challenge. If this gets uh, 6,969 likes, then I will watch another Family Guy Dark Human moment thing. Okay, kids, we're gonna start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> Alright, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. Hey, man! Listen, pedophile jokes are just... Uh, Funny guys, listen, guys, listen. Come here, have a seat. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <laughs> what? How is that there? Oh my god, I did not remember that even a little bit. Meg, come back here. I meant sex. Oh, well, in that case... What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. <laughs> that was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay, yeah. There oh, we go. No. All right, everything worked out. Listen, Tiffany. That's a, okay, listen, that's actually not, that's not bad. That's not bad. My man here, Peter Griffin, out here pulling an Obama every once in a while, you know what it's all about. You seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because, well, if I don't, there's two guys who are going to tell you anything. Yeah, I don't know why I never really considered it weird that this dog was out there serially dating women. Like, that that's weird, right? Anyway, I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. What? And the truth is... I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. That is so wholesome. Fifi literally said the same thing to me earlier. That's wild. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick! <laughs> what the fuck? There was nothing okay about that scene! I've been dying to get back on television ever since I stopped hosting Family Feud! How are you, Betsy? Welcome to the show. You are a lovely young woman. And let me just get my hand up there and feel What one. the fuck? And that one. And we're looking for something you shop for at the mall. Jesus Christ, I do not remember Family Buckeye being this... This, uh... Uh... Out there. This cancelable. Three seconds. I wonder what happened to Cindy. <laughs> Dear Diary. Jackpot! I lost- Whoa! Jeebus! My job, I lost my house, my wife left me for a bigger cock. You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sup, Bernie? Holy moly, that's a huge cock! <laughs> oh, man. Literally me, every single time I- <laughs> Every time I collab with Mudahar. This toothpick is the best! I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! No. I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, nice spot, huh? I never got that joke. I watched Family Guy when I was a kid. Oh Lord, I I have I didn't realize I was such a pure, I was such a pure innocent boy. I was such a pure boy. I never got that joke when I was a kid. I remember this scene, 
And I was just like, all right, that's not funny. Oh, no! 100% protein. Oh, my God, dude. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey, nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Oh. Corn. Really? Wow. No. I could go for some corn. No, no. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. <laughs> I remember this one. This one's wild. This one's wild, dude. Oh my god. Oh lord. Okay, you're good to go. Guys, I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's yep. face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all gonna be worth what? it. Trust me. Because the spices here are amazing. Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not over yet. Come on, it's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. Oh, that was all- That's not dark, that's just stupid. Awkward, like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode, No Sauce For You, <laughs> right? You missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. I, I don't know, these jokes aren't cancelable. These, these are fine, they're not so bad. Humpty, your sock is drooping. You should totally pull it up. Really? I, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Just lean a little further and get it. <laughs> you think you can bang Leslie and I'm not going to do anything about it? Damn, son. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my grinder app. Isn't that for... <laughs> what the fuck? For anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. Yeah. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. What the hell, bro? What am I watching? Are you also married? We'll go celebrate at the clam. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Hey, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Listen, listen, common mistake, it's happened to the best of us. This group needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. Tell that to one punch, man! Sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. Damn. Alright, let's get this stuff that, out fast, right. guys. These people have nothing. That is like the most lukewarm racist thing I've ever seen. Alright, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. The man just ended poverty. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. I love Peter. I'd follow him yeah, anywhere. Okay. Except onto an elevator. He fat, man. Oh, Lois, I'm so- That's an offensive joke? That is the most lukewarm offensive thing I've ever seen. So glad you're here. I really need to pee. Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets what? are all like one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Oh, this is the worst scene. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, I hate this clip so much. I know this next one. Oh, this next joke is so bad. This whale's beached himself. He needs to get back in the water or he'll die. Step aside, I'll handle this. No. Give me some room. No, and oh God, I hate this one. Oh, no. Dude, this one is so bad. <laughs> I 
I hate this clip so much. Literally hate it. This, this is the worst of family guy. Going. It does not stop. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm saying I'm done. Oh my god, dude. I, I, how, how has this show not been canceled earlier? Not, not because it's like racist. How is it not canceled for just being unfunny and gratuitous? Where are the good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? Done with you. Now go take the bus home with the rest of the poor people. Damn. The bus? That's rough, buddy. <laughs> ah, I was aiming for the church. God angry now! Ay, 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 ay. Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. Uh, uh, um, come on, Stewie! Forget it! <laughs> ah! Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! <laughs> was good what else you got yeah well anyway this was a thing we did thank god this isn't getting 6969 likes because i ain't doing another one of these baby i ain't doing another one of these baby i did want to watch a family guy dark humor compilation because people have told me that in the last family guy dark humor compilation that i've seen it wasn't completiony enough so we are gonna continue we are gonna feed the flames and stoke the coals on both sides here and we will see what reigns supreme Bye. I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? Ah! Oh, no! God damn it! This is instant! I, I, this stream has been incredibly dangerous. I feel like I, this... this... This stream has been a, uh, a colossal mistake. You can count on me, the same way NASA counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, I'm gonna need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronaut's kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we, we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. For years. Oh my god, dude. Now, I've been planning on retiring at 45, so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Peanut Otto? <laughs> those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it funny? Hold up, hold up. Whoa, Family Guy stands in the comments. Are, are you listening? Are you here? Because that's actually a, that's a great joke. We've got to stick together like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? I'm tired of living uh. with morons. Remember when I tried to open that lemonade stand with Chris? All right, that'll be 10 cents. Chris, pour the man his lemonade. I can't. The lemonade tricked me and got away. <laughs> of course. Lemons are God's children. Okay, that's not dark humor. Right? That's just... And get Meg out of there. Yeah, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I do not remember Family Guy being this funny. Don't be afraid to be honest with a girl and show her who you are. Wow. Thanks, Lois. That's the second best advice anyone's ever given me. I don't know, man. Jesus, Hitler, Christ sounds weird. So just go with H. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, for the next 72 hours, I'm going to be harder to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? Oh. Mittens. Oh, she's busy with a blood drive. Maybe I can what? help. What? How about I read you this book? It's called Apathetic George. 
George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted I feel like to this make... is a real book that could come out today. I feel like this is like the Twitter's hive mind's idea of positive propaganda. But he lost interest in that, too. Twenty years and millions of dollars in zoo revenue later, he died. Okay, I've had enough. Hmm, maybe this one. Hey, looking at you pretty normal, huh? No! Ah, fudge. Wait, I know! I'll figure this out. The, the pieces are all there. I, I'll go home and figure this out. At least now no one's forcing us to watch <sighs> those awful PBS documentaries. And now, PBS presents Albino Children Aren't... <laughs> it's when you say something so... It, well, that was technically true, but it's just the way you said it. So, with the exception of not being able to go out in the sun, you're completely normal? Yes. The moon is my sun. I like to kill beetles. Beetles are teachers. I sleep with a fork. That's what I... Okay. <laughs> Star athletes do. Ugh, I'm so sick of all the special treatment they get. Even during school shootings. Kevlar vest. Kevlar vest. Hold on. Are you a starter? These are for starters only. I'll be a starter next year. <laughs> then next year, you can have a vest. This is trespassing Damn. and it's against the law. Damn. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. Not overly affectionate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so canceled. Spirit, buddy, Stop, there's a little please. bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy! I'm no! <laughs> Come on, guys, fight. This is Kevin's first birthday since he came home from Iraq. Why does Kevin always sit at the bus stop but never gets on a bus? Please don't bring that up. Don't bring anything he does up. Hey, you guys. You're right on time. Kevin just woke up screaming from his afternoon nap. Mom, it's my birthday and you invited your friends. All yours are dead. Uh, you're going to start dating soon. Damn. It's probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me. I'm just, you know, one friend to another. Well, what, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, this is what you are. This is what. Damn! <laughs> Way to show your dominance. My God! You dare speak to me? It's been three weeks and you haven't had a single job lead. Well, that's not true. I came really close for that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Well, Stella, yeah, that's... I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the Death Games. <laughs> <laughs> the Death Games, the bells ringing, and they keep obliterating each other. Dude, this compilation is actually fire. What the heck? <laughs> Just keep... <laughs> oh my god, this has been a 12 minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? That's wild, Stacy. I'm a 12 year old girl, too. My name's Jen. Any Discord bots in the chat looking in the mirror right now? Want to come over to my place and help me move? Hey, you're not a 12-year-old girl. Neither are you, Jenny. Huh. I guess we aren't so different after all. Yeah. You know, this isn't a whole lot of stuff. We can probably knock this out in an hour. Where are you going to go? This is horrible. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. No! God damn it. Look at this note I sent off. Dear Pakistan, up yours. Love, India. Let's see what happens. They did not need much. Boy, what a great day well, for a baseball game. Yeah, and these are the best seats in the house for catching home run balls. Oh, that'd be sweet. The only souvenir I ever got was at that stock car race. <laughs> All right, I got the guy. I got the guy. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Thank God. I really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Everybody makes mistakes. Even Please just end fast. I have five minutes left. Please just end, end so I don't have to see more of this so that I won't get canceled. I, this, dream is, this, this dream has been a nightmare. Doctors. 
<laughs> you forgot to I say. I forgot to say clear. <laughs> That's what happens when you forget to say clear. I love that piece you did on the invention of the guillotine. Oh, thank you. You know, half the time those things didn't really work. How was it, honey? Oh, they couldn't finish. Oh, really? Yeah, I gotta go back tomorrow. Oh, well, I made cabbage for dinner. Yeah, that would be the ending to this day. For example, here's what happened when we fertilized okay. an egg from Shelley Duvall with a sperm from James Blunt. Here's Hilary Swank and Gary Busey. Florence Griffith Joyner and Stephen Hawking. Okay, I think that's enough. I got uh, more funny ones. I got Tina Fey and Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, I think we're fine. A lot of face stuff going on in that one. Like people in massive <laughs> debt? Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> you don't have any control over it. All right, Joe. Ah, capitalism. Oh, hoo Oh, yeah, baby. Well, let's lose the wheelchair and shoot this thing. Peter, I can't lose the wheelchair. I need it to move. Okay, yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. <laughs> Makes sense. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Yeah, get him, boys. Involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Yay! Thank you, Tree Jesus. Let's go. Have a long history of figuring stuff out. Like my great grandfather, who invented the first marital aid. <laughs> this gives me an idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, she's dead. Ah, uh, that's so fucked up. Wait, what? Gives me an idea. She's dead. Oh no! Would an idiot have been able to rig this rig to that rig? Peter, that's nothing. Oh, is it? I died! I died! <laughs> Joe, what are you doing up there? Enjoying heaven, Bonnie. Come join me. There's a gun in my nightstand. I'll be honest, <laughs> it's nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! <laughs> hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. <laughs> just go around. You're not worth it. Find a way to channel Damn. your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. I forgot to make it look like an accident. You look nice, so I'll blow my burps the other way. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, thanks. Usually people just find me awkward. I have a hard time with small talk. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did all right for a guy who just had his first homosexual experience with his guitar teacher. Hey, people got a <laughs> Yeah, I hate when my small talk just yeah oops. Along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? <laughs> 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 what one hit of a magic baby does to the motherfucker? Like, how did I actually. I can't. I'm like, I'm rubbing tears out of my eyes. I don't know why I'm laughing so much. Give me liberty or give me death. Well. Oh, that was easy. I know, right? Ryan wanted to give him liberty. You do the paper, Ryan. All right, we'll come to dinner. But I want this is I, I feel like this is because of the max or drinking game I have to stop doing max or drinking games at the beginning of the stream and I need to make sure that the max or drinking games are at the end of the stream I'm very <laughs> skeptical about this whole thing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, listen. I was skeptical about traveling to Mexico. I Took one step outside the resort. Well, this was one of the things of all time. Uh, please leave a like and um, watch another one That was actually amazing. I'm like Wiping tears out of my eyes that there were some really really good jokes in there. family guy Jew joke compilation. This was 
Highly requested. Oh, no. Oh, God. It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Oh, no. Yeah! Right. yeah money! Woo! Woo! Oh, my God! Why are they doing this? Cancellation speed run. I love how everyone makes jokes. It's like, oh, look at who you can't criticize. It's the Jews. They must control everything. And then you have Jewish joke compilation. I love you for all that you are. <laughs> In spite of the fact that your people control a disproportionate amount of no! the world's wealth. No, no! And in all likelihood are probably responsible for starting every major war since the dawn of time. Dude, again. I mean, that's probably true. Like, let's be real. And with this, what's your problem? Who's in the bush? Mind your own business, you stupid Jew. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna get so cancelled. Why am I doing this? Why do I subject myself to this? First rule of Jewish Fight Club is if somebody says ow, you stop. Ow. ow. Okay, let's eat. Sh yeah, let's eat, baby. That's what it's all about. Hello, Jews. Wow, Dad, <laughs> where did you get all that glistening chest hair? It came with my Star of David. Peter, what is all what this? The... Look, this is my way of letting you know that I'm embracing who you are. Oh, and I don't respond to Peter. From now on, I want you to use my Hebrew name. <laughs> Well, I, I caution you, uh, oh my God. that becoming Jewish doesn't happen overnight. It's a process that involves spiritual education and good works. If you did all the, the spiritual education and stuff and you want to become Jewish, it literally could happen overnight. So what you're saying is that it happens overnight? Look. Yes! Peter, I'm the one with the... He's not listening to authority. The first law of being a Jew... All right, this isn't... I'm going to get... I'm not just going to get canceled. Maybe you have someone put, may have me bite the curb. Jewish heritage, and I really don't want to make a big deal out of this. Leave it to a Jew to take all the fun out of being a Jew. Now listen up. Oh I like the God. hat and I like the scarf, so we're doing this. Why should I trust you? You're always tricking me into going places I don't want to. Oh. Ah! So Auschwitz, for those of you that are unaware, is a concentration camp in Germany. You said we were going to a place Walt Disney built. No. Uh... Yeah, Walt Disney was a, a massive, um, anti-Semite. Oh, Peter, I said supported. By the way, don't go on- No, it's Disney with the train that takes them to the concentration camp. <laughs> that is so cursed. Oh, my God. And now, the History Channel presents American Inventor, okay. the true story of Henry Ford. All right. This is my Jew flattening machine. <laughs> I have such a bad sense of humor sometimes. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. Oh, God, an angry mob. I've got to swallow all my valuables and get out of here. Ah, that's how the Jew gang goes, baby. Confrontation? No, thank you. Look, it's just, it's bred into the genes of every Jew that there will come a time where the government is going to try to either kill you or run you out or enslave you or something, I guess. <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's genetics. <laughs> Escaping is genetic. Oh, God. Yeah, the average use for a Nokia. That's for sure. Yeah, baby! The average... <laughs> Why do you think Jews have those? They're just escape mechanisms. <laughs> Did you see the mob? What? <laughs> I see the mob. Why else am I here? Oh my god! The Avengers assemble. The bad signal for Jews is just causing some sort of commotion anywhere in the city. That's curious. I didn't realize your mother was a Holocaust survivor. My mother? Oh no, that's that's impossible. She's not Jewish. According to her birth certificate, she is. Oh my god. Wow. Breast cancer's starting to look pretty good. Ah! How did they get away with this? Mom, you're Jewish? 
I'm sorry I never told you, dear. When we were married, your father made me conceal the fact so he could get into country clubs. It was the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do, dear. Oh, my God. So Grandma Hebrewberg is actually Jewish? No way! What? Who could have seen this coming? Yes. When she moved to America, her family changed their name. It was originally Hebrewberg Money Grabber. That makes you Jewish. Ah, yes, of course. That was her original name. Lois. Kids, from now on, this is where we'll celebrate the Sabbath. Hey, that this is all unnecessary. Our life was fine the way it was. Check it out. I'm one of you guys now, huh? I'm Jewish. Yeah, Holocaust. We're number one. Yeah, because every Jew does that, as you know. Have you ever seen a Jew that hasn't cheered the Holocaust? Look at all these short, hairy men. God, I feel like I'm on the forest moon of Endor. Let's go. <laughs> Damn it. Hi, you're pretty. Oh, thank you. Mom, is sodomy illegal if you're Jewish? I hope so, Meg. I really <laughs> the do. Frick. It's not, Lois. What the frick? <laughs> Good morning, Hebrews and Shebrews. What a glorious Jewish day. Hey, how about all those coupons in the Sunday paper, huh? Some good deals there. Hey, you know, I went into a store last week and they wanted 800 bucks for a TV, but I ushed them down to 500. Ah! Jews are gross, Lois. It's the only religion with the word ew in it. Oh. <laughs> there is no word like that, what? I now pronounce you man and wife. Mazel tov. Now step on the glass. Oh, but be careful, though. At my wedding, I cut myself on the glass. And when I got to Palm Beach for the honeymoon, I had to put a Wonder Bread bag on my foot to keep the sand out. Oh, All right, it's... oh, Mort, thank God. Brian and Stewie, you're in heaven too? Mort, this isn't heaven. You've time traveled into the past. What? H how is that possible? Just, just trust me, we're here to bring you back home. But it's gotta be heaven, Brian. Look, there's my frugal Aunt Ruth, my thrifty Uncle Isaac, my bargain hunting Aunt Flo, and my great Aunt Vera, who didn't like to spend a lot on anything. Come on, Mort, we gotta get out of here. Huh, I wonder, but... I wonder what, the, what they have in common. Brian, when am I gonna have another chance to see my Grandpa Chaim's wedding with my own eyes? Yes, you know, he's right, Brian. Besides, I've never been to a Hebrew wedding. Well, I guess we could stay a little longer. Oh, wonderful. I want to be oh. hoisted up on the chair and see what it feels like to all be right, top right. Jew. Nothing, nothing, too, nothing too racist here. Nothing nothing too bad. Nothing anti-Semitic. It's just wholesome, right? Wholesome stuff. Nothing else has... Dude, why do they play this song the entire goddamn compilation anytime anything remotely copyright happened? Work so far. So I'll wish upon a star. My God, this song! Oh, what the? Wondrous f dancing. Oh! Are you? Lois makes. Oh my God! Makes me take the rap. Oh my God, dude. Goodbye, money. I've been the birthplace of all of Western civilization's great religions and one really mean one. I had a feeling this is what oh, the shit, man. this place would be like. Oh, God, why is so bad? <laughs> Israel moment. I'm walking down. Who gets married on a get off these bad feet? Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Somebody go. take a picture. Yeah. Can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. Oh my God, that is so bad. Oh bloody hell! How do you go two weeks without opening your wallet? Yeah, he's been out to dinner like four times. We're clearly not going to get him this way. I know. Which is why I just planted another bomb that's set to go off every time he burps into his hand. Oh, <clears throat> oh I better make sure my wallet's okay. No! Today. <laughs> anyway, you guys got the talent, but what you need is a manager. Someone with no talent who can take a lion's share of your earnings. Mm -hmm. I wonder, is this referring to the Hollywood industry? You do that for us? Sure I would. So what do you say? Can I be your manager? You betcha. All right, put it there. No, I've seen your prescriptions. Let's just say... Welcome. Yeah, I, I this compilation was really poorly put together. Um... 
incredibly poorly put together. That was actually very funny. <laughs> And not at all cancelable. I am going to be safe. This scene reminds me my favorite Family Guy Jew clip. This. This is my favorite Jewish clip from Family Guy that I remember. Okay, Mort, now if you want to get more customers in your pharmacy, you're gonna have to do a promotion, like like buy one, get one free. What? Buy one, get one free. Huh? Buy one. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Get one free. Is that like a Spanish word? No, it's English. The whole thing's English. <gasps> oh, because it seems like you're saying the first part in English and then some kind of made up a uh, falum falum for something in the second <laughs> part. I don't understand you. All right, l let me try explaining it another way. Let's say we're at someone else's store and there's a sign and it says buy one, get one free. Get one free? Wow, what store are you talking about? Okay. I love that clip. That clip is funny. The most darkest humor in Family Guy, not for snowflakes. <laughs> and I was just, what the fuck? How do you unironically title a video like this? And then I decided, well, it's gonna work on me, so I get it. Let's jump right into it. East Coast welcome to the newest bull rider, Peter the Kid! <laughs> oh god, I've seen this clip. Oh god. You know what I am back at the ranch? I'm a breeding bull. What, 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 what's that? You gonna find out. <gasps> Where you going, fatty? We gonna have a party. <laughs> what? This aired? This aired on television? What? <laughs> what do you want, Griffin? Family Guy humor really just do be. Hey, uh, imagine, imagine if uh, if I was a bull and I was. I was putting my bull dick in your in your in your man butt. <laughs> Imagine if that happened. Ha <laughs> ha, lamau, lamafow. Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh god. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh god. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good <laughs> lord, save them. Bless them. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. All right, everything worked out. Listen, I've become Muda pilled. Mudahar got me on this freaking Family Guy extravaganza while trying to get canceled by this Family Guy bros. That was funny. I got a house on the Cape. Maybe you come visit. Dude, we're back on this bull! Maybe. Maybe you call a few days in advance to give me time to get the house clean. Okay. Maybe you bring a blazer so we can go to a wider range of restaurants. I'll, I'll bring a blazer. Okay, kids, we're gonna start yeah. practice as soon as I get that. Oh, get the joke, guys. Trauma for being abused, guys. You're not laughing. You don't find that funny, guys. You you, you don't see the the comedy in in just trauma. <laughs> look at all the look at this the the reaction to to trauma and abuse, guys. Wow. A guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> Alright, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. Careful, who you get involved with romantically. <phone rings> Hello? I'm in the mood for some coin. Oh my god, it literally doesn't stop. Holy frick! Just get over here. I can't, I'm with my family. Oh, guys, guys, continue laughing in chat because because this is this is a dude that that's on the hook by his abuser, guys. Guys, get the joke, cause cause he was abused, and now he's on the hook by the abuser, which is a thing that happens to a lot of legitimate people. Trigger warning, everybody. Have I made it abundantly clear that I do not find this plot thread funny at all? Pick up wine on the way. Well, Angela, if I'm really the only guy at work who can solve it, I'll be right there. Ah, <sighs> it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm. I welcome your arrival, cause we're oh. all part of the same garden. Oh, it's coming. No, I wish Roberta. Hey, hey, I wish you... Roberta from Black Lagoon would do hey, this to hey. me. God, hey, I wish Roberta here. from Black Lagoon. <laughs> oh man, Roberta. Oh Roberta. Wait, what? I mean, uh. He was my neighbor, and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. Coward. Yeah, wh whoever made this um, this compilation. I don't want to know what your childhood was like. I'm just a man on the internet apologizing to you. I have found you! Yeah. Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! This could need stitches! We don't want this to leave a scar! No, there's no time for an ambulance! We gotta take him to the hospital right away! Guys, I'm alright. I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious! He's talking nonsense! Quick, everybody in the car! Oh. It's my job. Oh my god! You see, Family Guy's very hit or miss. Or maybe there's just me with my very distinct sense of humor. Um, I lost my house. My wife left me for a bigger cock.
You get five minutes to say goodbye to your father. Sup, Ernie? Holy moly, that's a huge cock. Let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. That's my boy. My man just solves homelessness. I know how many beers I can drink and still be able to drive. I figured it out. <laughs> Seven. Peter Bay got him. Maybe sad for the neighbor's kid. All right, uh, I couldn't find your toys, so uh, why don't you just play with this blow dryer and these rattles? Look, in, in Peter's defense, are they ever gonna bother him to babysit again? It's like me. It's like, hey, do the dishes, and then you just break all the dishes by accident, and then you never have to wash another dish. Yeah, guess that's it. Well, you probably want me to get out of your hair, so uh, here's the Drano in case there's a clog. Uh, soap's right there next to the radio, and towels are on the roof. So, uh, good night. Hey, on LeVar Burton's yeah. visor. Ah, ah! Why would he wear these? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Who would invent these for him? Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something. Didn't she die? Because, well, if I don't, there's two guys who are going to tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, uh -oh. like, super sudden, but... Will you... You're gonna die alone, you dick! Get it, guys? Cause, cause, comedy. I love playing the maracas. They're so fun. I wonder what's in them. Sand or rice, probably. Maybe it's little shells? Oh no, what if it's bones? No, no, bones are too big. But baby bones aren't. No, 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 nobody would kill a bunch of babies for maracas. How would you kill all those babies anyway? I'd probably put them in a tub. You could kill like eight at a time that way. Plus it softens them up so you can get- Let me win the intrusive thoughts win. The bones right out. Joe just had a baby. And I got a baby at home. I got a tub. Peter, you seem off today. Are you thinking about killing infants again? No. Now you gotta kill them, too. Michael Myers. <laughs> if it seemed like he dead, he ain't dead. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh, yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. Maybe I should send Bonnie. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, my. Oh, no. Oh. All right, oh. somebody say something else. No, you need to know what you did. Damn, obliterated. I want you to sign my chest. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. I want you to sign my ass. And I want to hock a loogie in your face. What? I want you to autograph my stomach. Okay, fine, but do me a favor. Don't spit on my friend. Hey, Brian, why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> Oh my god! Every VTuber fan in the audience collectively simping for Peter right now. <laughs> my god, I wish I was Peter. Nose, I want you to resist the urge to levitate off the ground and float towards the pie. Doesn't seem too hard. All right, go stand over there. Ha <laughs> no you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there. That's my special area. Ah, 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 no, stop. What is I'm happening? No. Wh ah, why? What kind of pie is this? Peter, it's making me watch. Oh my God, dude. What is this joke? Hey, which has caused outrage with a misogynistic comic. Here's a video of some outrage. <laughs> Yeah, those boos don't hurt so much because you spent two minutes of the last segment applauding a red velvet cake. And if that's not Damn. bad enough, this morning's cartoon is even worse. Let's put that up.
because there was a hip. Like, you know how easily manipulated audiences are? Are, are you just, just kind of like them? Are you just making me feel good or, or bad? Like, as because you're just a hive mind, a hive mind of people that aren't necessarily intellectual or have your own intelligent thoughts, but, but you're just, just all here gathered together and, and you would cheer at a velvet, red velvet cake too. Am I a monkey? Am I the monkey that the people at the zoo clap at and laugh at and point at? Dog, that's the dream! By a drunk driver today at Quahog Park, two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. Come on, come on in. <laughs> Your family's waiting in here. There are toys and a puppy and food that's not served from warming trays. Come on, you gotta want it. Oh, you gotta do better than that. Okay, I guess you don't want a new family. Damn, the only thing meaner than kidnapping. Boys and a puppy. He has you die for rings? Well, this is like that, except it's a pill, and it's not okay if you don't get it. Ah, damn you! Come on, come on, you just touched it! What the frick? What's all the yelling? Oh my god, Lois, what are you doing? <laughs> First, there wasn't enough. Mr. Griffin, do you really think this is an appropriate cartoon to run on Gloria Steinem's half birthday? You sound angry. Did one of your friends get engaged? You have no idea how offensive Damn. you are to women, do you? What? I love women. I bet I can name more porn stars than you. But but don't tell my wife how many porn stars I know. I'll get in a lot of trouble. I know all of them, though. There are people who just started an hour ago, and I know them. Damn. That, now that is respecting women. It worked. Gracias. What are my powers? Oh, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> oh, You're, like, really good at painting my living room. Up, up, and get it done by Saturday. We're having a party. You can't leave him alone. Let's go. Come on, it's good to have some alone time. You know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 let's, let's not, let's not bring the monkey. <laughs> oh, no! I can't dissect this pig, Mr. Kingman. It's against my religion. It is literally not. Believe me, Neil, it's no thrill for the pig to touch a Jew either. Ah! God damn it! Oh, right in the balls on that one. Jesus! Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Oh, no, my mom says I shouldn't. Damn. Damn. Hey, kid, get in my van and I'll give you some candy. Okay. Oh, my God, dude. What? No, dude. Specials? But first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are. No waiter of mine is going to be gay. He's the only waiter we... What the fuck, bro? What? We have. Lois, our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. <laughs> I love you, <laughs> that even Hog. All right, son, I'm gonna need those two hams back. I don't have any hams. Lift up your shirt, son. I need an adult! I need an adult! You're not a shoplifter. You're just a fat kid. Huh. Sorry about that, fatty, fat, fatty. Hey, Tom, he's just a fat kid! Aren't you fatty? He's just a big old fat kid. Here's some chocolate, fatso. Well, this this was a video that that I watched on YouTube with you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. This was a lot of fun. I'm not gonna get canceled because I'm way too smart and based and incredibly unfathomably respectful of women to get canceled. Shout out to women. Can, can we get a shout out to women, guys? Just a shout out to women and uh, survivors of abuse. I want I want to dedicate this video and absolutely none of the money that I made watching the video. Uh, I'm dedicating my love and respect to people and women. And I'm not donating any of the earnings that I'm making through this video. I am just giving my love and support, which I think is worth more, subjectively. Right here, we got a video. I promised you I'd watch more of this. This guy, Family Guy's Peter. Most of your racist moment compilations in Family Guy, not for snowflakes. And I thought it was kind of a meme that he titled it, not for snowflakes. And I was like, that's stupid. And we'll watch it. And then he actually found some, like, heinous really heinous goddamn scenes and clips so i promised we'd watch another one and of course 10,000 likes and i will watch another one of these next week but for now let's just jump right into it that truck's coming up on us awful fast <laughs> oh my god dude what holy crap do you see what i see i'm afraid i do 
We're being chased by ghosts! Come on, it's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black. A black. Go ahead. Uh, what? I did not remember this at all! A blanket. I'm true. Just a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. A great, great, great cut to that. Yeah, mm -hmm. good reference, good cut. Yep. All right, you saved it. At our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. What the fuck? What? I did not remember this at all. Oh my God, Peter, what the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Ooh, you scared yet? No, this place was haunted, did you? Okay, nobody move. Oh, I love this episode. This is one of my favorite episodes of Family Guy. Oh my God, those guys in first class have guns. Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. Died not 30 minutes ago in the carriage on the way here. <gasps> well, we all know how this goes. No! Oh my God, dude. No! I'm doing it! Hey, Lois, I'd like you to meet our new friend... Jerome? Loose Lois? What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter, Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Oh my god! I did not remember that Family Guy had moments like this. Listen, I, I watched Family Guy, like, as a kid, all right? I brain-deadly watched, like, the first seven seasons of Family Guy as a kid. I don't remember any of these scenes. <laughs> My ass! Man, this trip is dangerous. Couldn't we have just taken a bus? <laughs> no, it's a black guy. Oh. Okay. Ooh, a message from Joe. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. This is w the worst thing ever. Like, the combination of the grape soda and, and the, the fact that Joe even knows to warn him or even... Oh, God. Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am going to go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. Oh, my God. Who does he think he is? Justin Trudeau? He's not going to get away with this. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea. You're a stupid man. A stupid, stupid man. Ow, you're hurting me. Stop it. Stop it, Lois. <laughs> no, I'm so Has 9-11 changed everything, Brian? 9-11 changed everything. Okay. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11. <laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not, I shouldn't be laughing at this! What is wrong with me? Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! Ah! Ah! ah, China, what a glorious place. Faster! The pathway to enlightenment starts with an unfettered, focused mind. Look out! Ah! What are you doing? Oh. oh, I thought that dot on your head was from a sniper rifle. All those chickens had to buy tickets? I don't know, but I'm starving. What I wouldn't give right now for oh, a God. big, juicy steak. How dare you? To us, cows are sacred. That's right. You are disrespecting our entire culture. And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons. <sighs> what the fuck? Wow, that came in handy. Yeah. Now let's, let's get see out what of here. Wieners look like. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get out of here. 
Peter. This spot is a sacred adornment. It's a portal, an opening through which all light, goodness, rejuvenation, joy, and ecstasy may enter the human form. A vagina? Get out. You know, it actually looks like the... <laughs> Me. Why am I laughing? I should not be laughing at this! Oh my god, dude. Stop. Stop, bro. Native Americans have done alright for themselves. They do seem to have a lot of shops. <laughs> and it looks like they have medical okay. care as well. Right. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I've done this several times today and your husband just isn't responding. <laughs> I am so angry at myself. Why? <laughs> well, have you tried this? Ma'am, this is a place of medicine. Uh, maybe I'm just overtired, but I can't. I, mean, I don't know. I think I'm overtired. I think in the future, I can only watch Family Guy when I'm like up all night, literally. And their popular music is interesting. And here it is, the number one song for the 10,000th week in a row, Hiya, Hiya, Hiya. Hiya, 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 Hiya. Ireland was a much different place before the discovery of alcohol. Most experts believe it was something like this. Gentlemen, today we Ireland's top scientists have found a way to convert our entire population to pure energy. Oh, oh, a glorious day. Day. Oh, absolutely. Hey, Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Hmm, whiskey. Yeah! <laughs> 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 All right, here's one. So a horse walks into a bar, and the bartender says. Why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, screw you. Whoa! What the hell's your problem? You're my problem, dude. That joke is offensive. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry that not everyone conforms to your preconceived notions of attractiveness. It's a joke, man. Oh, oh, yeah? Oh, it's a joke? How oh. about this? Why are there so few black baseball players? Why? Because they're always stealing bases. Ha 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 Whoa! Hey, now that is offensive. Yeah, what the hell, man? Hey, it's a joke, man. Yeah, oh, but it's racist. Damn. Oh, the horse with a long face just told a racist joke, huh? Yeah, that's different. Oh, yeah? How's it different? Hey, why do you have so many drinks and you haven't touched any of them? Uh, hello, Einstein. Hooves. No freaking thumbs. Can't pick up a glass. Well, then why are you in a bar? Bite me, that's why, douchebag. Look, look, I think we all got off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, well, you got that right. We're sorry, okay? I feel like this whole argument, this whole scene was just like your average Twitter thread. All right, me too. Look, I'm Mike, and this is Harry. Sarah Jessica Parker. This man has the latest in law enforcement. Oh my god, bro, what? Do you get the joke? Oh, gee, watch. Suspect, suspect, you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, let me try. Cleveland, don't! Minority suspect! Minority suspect! Danger! He's got a gun! <laughs> oh my god, it planted the gun! Ah, dang it! Oh no. Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois or Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's gotta be a better way. He's got a knife! Sorry, Cleveland, it's gotta be authentic. Stay down! Oh. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Shut up! We don't need you in this town. Ow. Tell you what. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Why? Let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Peter, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh god, there's four. Please don't free the slaves. It's a bad idea. Wait, what? They'll try to get back at us, and that's our biggest fear. Oh my god. Allahu Akbar! <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> what was that supposed to be? <laughs> was that supposed to be like a Muslim alarm clock? Was that the meme? Was that the joke? Oh my god, that is horrible! My allergies and everything else, just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, Damn. let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give them the full 3%. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Choo, cheap, 
Don't stop. Why? No. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. Uh, what? Okay. I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. Dick. Okay. Oh, God! Now, you have a good one. And this much tension when the slaves were freed. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're free to go. But we're cool, right? What? Oh, God, dude, bro, no, no. Say the word? Right now? Yeah, together. Ready? You bet. <gasps> you could have just quit the show. <laughs> Wait, as a glorious exit, they said the N-word to get fired? Oh, family guy. We're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. So teach us a lesson. Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! Now return... Oh, my God. God, dude. To damn nature, you scary on BET. Damn that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. Was anybody gonna wake me up for the party? It's 6.30. I went down at noon. Now I'm gonna be up all night watching bad reality TV. We now return to Uber driver Ninja Warrior. <laughs> what the frick? First, he's got to swing on the gold chains across the cologne bath without dropping his e-cigarette. Next, he's got to pick up a rideshare customer. Now he's going to be late, but he's going to make it seem like the passenger's fault and not his. Where the hell have you been? I've been here, man. Maybe you press wrong button. I don't know. Damn. Now, don't talk to me. I'm on four different phone calls. <laughs> oh, my God. That, that was uh, one of the compilations of all time. Uh, I'm a little shaken, a little shook. Oh, anyway, not for snowflakes. Uh, I'll do another one if this hits 10,000 likes. So there's this channel, this Family Guy's PETA channel, that makes these compilations of Family Guy moments titled Not For Snowflakes, where uh, officially he comes up with shit that's incredibly cancelable. So I don't believe that I'm gonna get canceled for Family Guy. I know, I know, I saw some wild Family Guy scenes on the last one, but apparently the Quagmire ones are the worst of them. And so here's the thing, I haven't seen Family Guy in years. I saw like the first, what, ten, seven seasons back when I was a kid. Uh, I don't remember this shit, but apparently it's way more cursed than I even remembered. And you know what, 10,000 likes, I'll do another Best at Quagmire video. Get me canceled, babe. <laughs> You can't. You can't. Whoa, what? I didn't know you worked out at this gym, too. Uh, hey, Brian, hang on. I'm just finishing a set. Come on, come on, two more. Come on, come on, you gotta want it. Biggest flexes in anime! <laughs> what? Dude, that, that, that there, that there is one of the biggest flexes in anime. My man over here would annihilate Goku. Nice job. Let's get you a rub down. <laughs> oh, God. Mm, Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. What do you do for a living? <laughs> hey, I have a question for you, too. Why are you still here? Got him. All right, all right. Nothing bad so far. Nothing cancelable. I'll be fine. That was strangely arousing. Hello, 911? It's Quagmire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's in a window this time. <laughs> Alright, that's not so bad. Not cancelable. I'm still fine. I'm okay. Nothing will happen. Wow, Quagmire's got a nice place. <sighs> this is gonna be a relaxing weekend. Okay, that's that's cancelable. I'm Glenn Quagmire, and this is oh B Bush. All right, what did you do to yourself, Quagmire? Well, I just covered my entire private area with honey. Now we're just waiting for the bees. <laughs> what? Giggity. All right, here Why? they come. Why though? <laughs> okay, okay, they're on there. It's just, just no, nobody move. 
All right, no, nobody, nobody do nothing. Just don't want to, don't want to make him mad. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Not <sighs> Good evening. I'm Glenn Quagmire, your instructor. Everyone, look to your left. Now look to your right. All of you are sex offenders, and statistically, you will all. Why is, why is he the therapist? What? Be here again, because this has never worked in the history of doing this. Now, honestly, that might be the most base thing ever. I, I don't know. We just watched that video about the e-girl lady that murdered her boyfriend, and she claimed that she was suicidal, and because of that, they didn't put her in prison, and they just made her see therapy, and now she's back on the streets. Now, today, we have a new member, Giggity, Chris G. Hi, Chris. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Get off! Yeah, we wouldn't want the bees to get mad. I hate you bees! I hate you bees! Oh, I hate you bees! 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 All right, that's enough! That's enough! Just, that, that's, just get them off! Get them off! Put them back in the hive! Yeah, all right, enough is enough. Cleveland, open the hive. All right, Quagmire, bring them over here. Oh, Dad? Are you gay? What? Are you gay, Dad? Oh, Glenn, I'm not gay. Just, just tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Now calm down, uh, you're ruining this ball. You know how much I love balls. All right, come on now, that's not helping. So, <laughs> son, you have my word, I am not gay. Okay. You promise? I promise. All right, I believe you. But I am a woman trapped in a man's body. And while I'm in Quahog, I plan to have a sex change operation. Oh, come on, just be gay. Oh my god, now that is cancelable shit. Yup, yup, that's, that's there. <laughs> How can you not like me? You are the worst person I know. You constantly hit on your best friend's wife. The man pays for your food and rescued you from certain death. And this is how you repay him? And to add insult to injury, you defecate all over his yard. And what really bothers me Damn. is you pretend you're this deep guy who loves women for their souls when all you do is date bimbos. Yeah, I date women for their bodies, but at least I'm honest about it. God, you're pretentious. And you delude yourself by thinking you're some great Bruh. writer, even though you're terrible. And I think what I hate most about you is your textbook liberal and egg. 18 yet? <laughs> you hate most about you? You're liberal. <laughs> Damn, son! Hey, Chris, how are you? Well, I'm glad, Brian. All right. Gender, how we should legalize pot, man. How big business is crushing Bruh, the underclass. How stop. homelessness is the biggest tragedy in America. Well, what have you done to help? Driving a Prius doesn't make you Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, or any religion for that matter, because religion is for idiots. Well, who the hell are you to talk down to anyone? You failed college twice, which isn't nearly as bad as your failure as a father. How's that son of yours you never God. see? But you know what? I Dude, freaking tearing him apart! You forgive all of that? All of it, if you weren't such a bore. Damn. Wait a minute, something's wrong. All right, you girls ready? What's going on? <laughs> Don't you laugh at it! Okay. My father in the hospital? I was hoping that- That was a Reddit moment, if I've ever seen one. But while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. And go have sex with Quagmire. Quagmire! Oh shucks, you can't blame a guy for trying. Giggity, giggity, giggity! <laughs> Would you mind giving okay. me a lift home, buddy? Say yes, I would mind, and then run him over, please. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Damn. Well... I, I, I was like pretty, pretty on point. Women are a lot like Saturday Night Live sketches. Lots of them are awful, some are decent, and a few are pretty good. But then there's that one. That one woman who's as amazingly perfect as massive head wound Harry. Oh my god! Honestly though, like, that's that's just a good way to look at life. God! Well, now, now hang on, Quagmire. There's no guarantee it's your baby. Giggity? Oh, I say that. Quagmire's turn. Truth or dare? Uh, I picked dare. No, 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 truth, truth. Okay, truth. Do you have AIDS? Ah, come on. We're all just trying to have a good time. I wonder what happened to- <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Cindy! <coughs> Dear Diary, Jackpot. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. He really was such a monster. <laughs> all right. 
No, no, not all right. All right. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And virtual reality. Whoa, you guys gotta try this. Hey, look at me. I'm a pole in a strip club. Oh, it's showtime. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, hey, stop, false alarm. Ah, ah. Hi, can I help you? Well, that depends. Do you know how to fix pieces of junk? Haven't been stumped yet. <gasps> okay, I see what your problem is. I, I tried to buy a, a sweater online, and I, I uh, think I got a virus. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Try explaining to someone that the incredibly gratuitous, weird, and disgustingly offensive porn that you watched was for research. I just wanted to know what would happen if Beast Boy was a horse. I just wanted to know how the physics would happen. What would, what would be real if they were... Listen! Hey, everybody! Meg just had her first period! Peter! Shut up! It's three in the morning! What the hell's going on out there? Damn it! People are trying to sleep! I'm just saying, I'm proud of her! She's a woman! Yay! Yes, Peter, that's very hot, and I'll deal with it in the morning, but right now, I am exhausted! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God! He's a Genshin player! We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. Oh my god, when I was a kid, I did not at all know what was going on. Hey, Peter, do you mind? But I have to get dinner. Go out. Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. For a day. What the fuck? Thelma, stop that. You have a right to be happy, and, and there's a lot of great people here. Why don't you mingle? Oh my god, Lois, you single now? <laughs> no, Glenn, I'm here with Thelma. Who's Thelma? This is Thelma. Ew! <laughs> the worst thing he could say is no. The worst thing he could say is no. Oh. You're still here? Yeah. After a wonderful night, I, I thought we could get some breakfast. <laughs> Clearly you're not familiar with how this works. See, you're supposed to be already gone. There's no breakfast. Here, let me help you to the door. You're a jerk, Glenn Quagmire! One of these days, you're gonna get what you deserve! You better put something warm on. You got an icicle forming down there. Bro! My ma'am! Giggity. You know, I don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> this man, <laughs> this dude, I, this, I can't. He was actually a monster. He was actually a monster. But do you have a more comfortable chair? This one's really hurting my back. Oh my God, Quagmire! You come out from under there. I'm sorry, everybody. I just wanted to meet her so bad. I can't do anything right. I'll go have a talk with him. Oh yes. Am I dead? <laughs> no. This is where we monitor all the dressing rooms in the mall so we can keep an eye out for shoplifters. You don't say. Do you see? This is funny! This scene that's about to happen, I remember this one. This scene is funny! Oh my god, that one's having a heart attack! That was amazing! You saved her life! Thank God you know CPR! What the hell is CPR? What the hell is CPR? Now that is one of the funniest goddamn scenes in television history! I will not lie to you when I say this is classic Family Guy. This is why Family Guy deserves to be remembered. Henceforth, sexual intercourse is illegal. It is gross and disgusting and punishable by death. Origami keeps my hands busy and my mind off sex. There we go. I made a swan. Stewie's a good leader. I wonder how many of these swans I can fit in my bum. <laughs> and when he no. woke up in the morning, she was still in his bed. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I am overtired. I'm having. Oh god. That's it? Yeah. And then she wanted to make him eggs. Ah! And he said, oh, I don't have time. I got a meeting at 1230. And she said, I'll drive you there. Ah! 
And he said, no, no, it's at my office. It's like a half hour commute. And she said, I don't mind. It's on the way to my kid's preschool. Ah! 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 Welcome to Midnight. <laughs> oh my God. Q. Tonight, we're going to enjoy the smooth jazz of Charles Mingus. Norman Mailer is here to read an excerpt from his latest book. And then we also have a girl from Omaha who's hiding a banana. We'll find out where. Giggity, giggity, giggity goo. Stick around. Bro, what the frick? Uh, I guess 10,000 likes and I'll do another one because I promise. But I, I don't I don't foresee this video lasting on YouTube and surviving on YouTube long enough to actually reach that threshold. But, you know, we'll, we'll try, I guess. To combat my incredible wokeness. <laughs> Unfortunately, on my last one of these, you guys got it past the like goal. So today, we are going to be watching the most offensive jokes of Family Guy. Not for snowflakes. If you are a snowflake, flake yourself away! I love the not for snowflakes in the title. It just... It tells me so much about Family Guy's PETA over here as a person. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most offensive jokes. And it's only six minutes, so you know it's prime time. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's get canceled. I, I missed it. All right, men. This is Harry the homosexual. Say hi to everyone, Harry. Hi, fellas. I sure do love being gay. Oh, my God. Kill me. <laughs> I'm getting so canceled. Why do I do this? Fellas, this is a gay. <laughs> fellas. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're going to oh. beat him up for it. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> oh. <laughs> the, the way he runs away! No! Oh my god. Listen, <laughs> fellas, is it, is it gay to literally breathe? Because, you know, there are my ball particles in the air right now. So, at, by breathing, you would be inhaling my ball follicles. You are literally sucking my balls every time you breathe. Fellas, fellas, is it... <laughs> Fellas, is it gay to to be attracted to women? Because women are attracted to men if they're straight. I don't know where I'm going with this. All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No. No! <laughs> no! Oh my god, dude! Oh no, don't use them like that either. All right, look, just put them down and use your fists. No, no! Oh my god, stop it, please! No, no, not like that. She's beautiful. Oh my god, dude. I am sweating. I am gonna get so unfathomably canceled for this shit. Fellas, this is a gay to be homophobic. <laughs> Fellas, this is a gay to be homophobic. You're just thinking about two men having sex. Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. <laughs> God damn it. She was pregnant for 18 seasons? Oh my god, I am literally getting so dead right now. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? 16. 18? You're first. Mom! I like oh my god, dude. Oh, that's rough. Like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... Classic quagmire. Oh, I hired a math tutor. Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way! So that means you're the driver's ed instructor, yes. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. Oh, God, he made it worse! Stop! Bing bong, thank you for invite. Oh, of course. Please come in. Hey, Brian, I bet he thinks you're what's for dinner. Come on, that's a racist stereotype. So, when do we eat dog? Fellas, is it racist if you're right? <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I am ready for my evening. No! I've seen this clip, please stop. Oh my god, this is just back to back bangers! God, Peter, what the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost! Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Oh, Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh! Right. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. <laughs> Was this how God launched Asians? Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Oh my God, stop it! Oh my God, stop it! Oh, God damn it. Do they eat just like regular food? No, 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 the opposite. <laughs> God damn it! Oh my god! I feel like that's a bit you could make for everyone, and it'll never get old. May I help you? 
Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for... Your friends with a... When a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Ah. Oh my god, dude. Now wait, wait a second. You can't do that to him. Speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. Oh god, oh. dude. Oh god. Now look, I don't think... All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Wow. Can you imagine existing like me? Seeing something like this that is wild, disturbing, incredibly hilarious. <laughs> and you just think about the next morning when you're going to be trending on Twitter. Obi-Wan! Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, God, the pedophile saw the Kennedy. His lightsaber guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Boy, you got here just in time. Oh. On your marks, get set, white guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. Oh, god damn it. This is so bad. Stop it, please. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm death. Sorry, dude. Super death. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Oh my god, dude. That is so messed up. These are really messed up. I did not remember Family Guy was this offensive. Come on. You miss. Ah, uh, just kidding. As you are aware, Asians are known for their great sense of humor, an enormous genitalia, and respect for non-Asians, and for being polite. Now, give me big American food, you fat, ugly, Kojak, bang, bang, American fat souls. Now, did you get a look at the okay. man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9", or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any, uh, any marks, God. piercings? Where is this going? Where is this he going? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted? Oh, my God, dude. Package for Glenn Quagmire. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a package for you, too. All right. Nice try, but I built up an immunity. God damn, this man has become Superman. It's an old boy. Wait, we chased a cat. A friend of mine. What? Oh, sorry, I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Happy. No! Oh! <laughs> New life, and we'll have equal rights for all, except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims, um, everybody who's not a white man. And I mean white, white. So no Italians, no Polish, just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Oh, God. Stop. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, <sighs> America. Uh, mailman. Damn. Me? No, the other black guy in shorts. Yes, you. Here. Well, you, sir, are a racist and a rude one at that. So you're not a mailman? Okay, yes, I am a mailman, but these are my 1983 Maurice Cheeks shorts. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, this is the legendary meme. Oh my god, dude. I, I'm waiting for this compilation to end. I'm like sweating. Please end already before like I'm actually toast. Okay, you're good to go. I'm banging a chick with epilepsy and you're giving her a seizure. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> Who else but Quagmire? Oh. Yeah, no, this is this has been this has been rough, buddy. Uh leave a like. Ten thousand likes and I'll I'll do another not for snowflakes compilation.
Like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam!